Okay, here's something that I put together today to help understand uh, this cap pulse circuit for the charging part of the Emotep radian oscillator light fan. And uh, this is the circuit uh, for my uh, lunchbox um, radian oscillator light that I'm getting ready to incorporate the fan portion of it. That's the Bendini uh, fan with the circuit that I'm going to incorporate with the uh, lunchbox light that I made. And what I'm working on right now is this part of it, the charging part. There's one here on the Bedini side and there's one here on the Emotep side. And what I'm running into is when I use the solar panel out there during the day to charge up the batteries on the um, Emotep radiant oscillator light there, I end up with not enough coming into there. If I charge up on that side using the um, solar panel, I'm not getting enough in the back end. Uh, so what uh, I'm going to try to do here is use a pulse charging circuit. And this is just basically a simplified version of it. What you have is a little circuit basically that's an oscillator circuit that uh, in solid state would be um, transistors and uh, diodes basically to store up energy coming into the charge circuit in a capacitor and then put it in the charge battery in pulses. And you can see over here on the voltmeter what's happening is the capacitor is charging up and then it's dropping into the battery every time this reed switch fires. Now that's a reed switch that's being triggered by that little magnet that's being spun around. And the little motor is being operated by that oscillator circuit right there. And the reason you want to do this um, is if I take the pulse circuit out of this, I'm going to disable it just by going right to here. That's what happens on your charge battery voltage. It just sits there at that voltage right there. Now if I activate the pulse part of it, you can see that starts to go back up to a pulse going into the charge battery, which is what I'm looking for. Now all this is done in a solid state circuit, but I did this to help me understand what was going on. Basically the, the energy charges up in the capacitor, then it dumps into the battery. It charges up and then it dumps. And that, like I say, is going to go in right there in that part of the circuit. So that as the circuit runs, I build up energy and then put it in there. I build up the energy and put it in there. And it goes in in a pulse. Now another uh, reason I'm trying to do this is you notice over here there's the charge battery voltage. If I increase the load on the system to increase the battery drive, I'm going to turn the battery voltage up on the drive. It drops down so I don't get what I want on the front part of this. This is the drive side. It increases on the back end side, but it's a balancing act between what you want to do over here on this side and what you want to have happening on the other side. And this um, pulse circuit, now they use a um, 555 timer transistorized circuit to regulate the time that this is charging up and then the time that it's discharging. But this is a demonstration of basically the idea of letting the capacitor charge up, store the energy to a higher voltage, and then dropping it into the battery. It's the latest thing going on here with my project.